YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to explain how to calculate sports reaction on simply spotted beam having uniformly distributed load. So this is our topic as, a, as you can see it's written on the board. This is our beam with simply sports and uh, we have a uniformly distributed load spreaded over the beam length and uh, this is a length of beam which is, which is you can say maybe 5 meter or you can have different numbers it's fine all fine this diagram can be drawn like this as well so rather than having this curly shape of loading so you can have something like this these are the sports so both are fine it's just the same thing so i'll go with that one okay so this is our beam this is r1 r2 as i have explained in my previous video so r1 is the reaction which is going upwards both sides are going upwards and the load is going downward so it is reaction versus reaction so this is reaction and the action is coming down okay so this is UTL load and the rate of loading is 5 kilo newton per meter okay so how to solve the question so first of all we need well, what we need to do we just need to calculate what, what is the load? What is total load on the beam? So total load Total load is equal to 5 times by 5 Because 5 kN per meter and we have 5 meters So 5 times 5 is going to be 25 kN So 25 kN is acting on our beam Simply spotted beam on our simply spotted beam. Okay, so now how to calculate the reaction? So, how much R1 is resisting and how much load is R2 resisting? So, it's R2 is going to be 5 because this is 5, 5 is the length of beam, span of the beam, so you can say, and the load we have 25 kN now we need to do how much is the arm the arm is going to be 2.5 there is a simple rule UTL always acts on its half length so half length of the UTL is going to be 2.5 from here to there so 2.5 is here and 2.5 is here because UTL always acts half of its length okay so 25 times by 2.5 it will give you 62.5 kN ok so how to calculate R2 R2 is equal to 62.5 divided by 5 is equal to 12.5 kN so we have 12.5 kN on R2 our R2 is resisting the 12.5 kN so how to calculate the reaction on R1 so R1 is going to be equal to total load minus R2 or you can say subtracting so total load is we have calculated as 25 kilo Newton minus 12.5 which is going to be 12.5 kilo Newton so R1 is resisting 12.5 kilo Newton and R2 is resisting also 12.5 kilo Newton why is that as you can see from the figure the uniform distributed load is spread over the beam length, whole length of the beam. 
So it's kind of symmetrical beam. So you can say uh, the load from right side and the left side, if, if you cut through in the middle, if you cut the beam in the middle, so you have 2.5 meter from right side and right side and 2.5 from the left side. And the rate of loading is the same from right to left. So it's a symmetrical beam. So I would say symmetrical beam. For the symmetrical beam, so this is the method how you can calculate the reactions, sports reactions. So this is going upward, this is going down. Right? And that's all for today. Uh, thank you for watching my channel. Please don't uh, forget to subscribe my channel.